Hello and welcome back to another episode and in this episode we have yet another wedding. I feel like all we've been doing lately has been weddings. Uh, I feel like it's when this series first started and it was just non-stop birthday parties so hopefully you guys aren't too sick of the weddings. I'm trying to make it interesting by having different venues at um, each like for each wedding world if that makes sense. Like this is going to be the wedding of Oasis Springs or the royal wedding of Oasis Springs. So we are going to go ahead and oh nope not Queen Arya. We're going to go ahead and plan the wedding um, and I know they like just got engaged pretty much the last episode but I do want them to get married pretty quickly and to also have kids fairly quickly as well. Uh, looks like King Easton and Queen Arya are elders so I don't know how much longer they have left to live so I want them to spend as much time with their grandchildren as possible. So we're going to just go ahead and, and go straight to the wedding. So we of course invite King Easton and Queen Arya. Um, we are going to invite Queen Nina and his brother King Jared. I know that they don't get along well with his parents but they're just going to have to deal with it. Um, this is Lady Malaya of Brindleton Bay. So she is the daughter of the Earl of Brindleton Bay. Her family owns like a bunch of the restaurants and they're probably going to buy out a lot more of the other, um, like the, the sh one of the shopping, shopping centers or what is it called? One of the stores, I guess. Um, and they're also probably going to buy out like one of the vets or vet clinics. Um, words. I don't understand. Uh, so yeah, anyway, so that's Lady Malaya. So we'll get to meet them soon. She has an older brother that's Princess Anna's age. They're fairly new. So they might just like get along really well and we'll see if Princess Anna maybe ends up getting with her brother. Um, so we'll just have to see. I'll focus on that for the next episode. So we're inviting Princess Cora, his cousin. Um, we want to invite Queen Elena, Prince Edmund, uh, King Henry IV, Queen Alice, um, Princess Anna, his other cousin. Um, and then I guess the other ones we can invite, we'll invite Sir Derek, he's friends with him, Duchess Olivia, and the Duke, um, Duke Bentley, let's see, how many other people can we invite? I feel like this should be enough, well, yeah, that's, okay, well, we've reached 15, so that is good, um, and then we want to hire the caterer, we will hire a mixologist as well. And then we will hire a musician. I don't actually, I'm assuming there's a piano there, but I'm not 100% sure. So I did download this from the gallery and the description, or the uh, the link to it is in the description. Um, so let me just find it. So it's called the Oasis Wedding Gardens. I still have like all the wedding venues in the other worlds too. I'm debating if I want to keep it there because uh, they're actually useful. So maybe we will keep it there. Okay, so here we are at the Oasis Wedding Gardens. So we have, oh, everyone looks so pretty in their new formal outfits. This is uh, soon to be Queen Cora, but this is Princess Cora right now. So she's wearing the blue Willow Creek colors, and then Queen Nina is wearing her red, and I love her hair too. It's beautiful. And then, of course, our bride, Lady Lindsay. So she is going to be the new queen of Oasis Springs. And then what in the world are you wearing, Lady Malaya? This is not not appropriate, I feel like. So I need to change her outfits, that's for sure. Um, and then we have his brother, King Jared, is here. So I will thank him for coming. Um, and then we do want to have the guests watch the ceremony. So let's see. where This is kind of cool. We even have like a, a photo booth here. We have, I don't know what this is. This is just a little, a little fancy room that kind of looks important, but I don't know if it's actually important. Um, all right. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's a great idea. I never thought of doing this. I've never thought of actually like putting some, oh my gosh, this is amazing. We have to take a picture together. I'm going to do that now. This is exciting. I've never even thought of, I don't know if anyone has any good, um, photo skills, uh, take group of adults. Um, I, I've never thought of putting stuff on the photo booth before. That just never crossed my mind. So that is a great idea. Okay, so we want Prince Adrian and Lady Lindsay. I've never had like a picture taken on someone's wedding day like at a photo booth before. I can't believe I've never done that. 
So this is a great idea. I love this. Um, and then we also need to find the wedding arch. So where, oh, there, wait, no, that's not, a, oh, yes, it is. That is our wedding arch, I guess. That's fine. This is really nice. It's, I like how each wedding venue is different. Um, so this is a little bit different than the other ones. Um, I love this little, like, garden in the middle here. And then we have just this nice setup, like, banquet area. We even have a sweetheart table. They've even thought of doing a sweetheart table. That's such a great idea. I don't see too many venues that have that. Um, and then we also, we of course have like our kitchen. We even have a little play area for kids. Oh my goodness, that is such a great idea. Oh, we should have invited, um, I guess it's not his niece, but King, uh, King Henry IV and Queen Alice's daughter is a toddler now. So we should have invited her. Speaking of, it looks like Princess or Queen Alice, she's not, I don't think she's in her third trimester yet. So she still has some time before she has a baby. She doesn't look that big. Uh, so I think we still have some time before she has another baby. Okay, so we are, oh my gosh, Lady Lindsay has the biggest eyes. They almost look alien. Like they're, they're, they're a little, too big I might like fix that a little bit because I think that just seems like a little bit much um okay so why don't we um I'll do the horizontal picture this is cute I love this I love the backdrop with it I've never would have thought of that ever okay so I just I want like a few I, why is it like pulsating I don't know if you guys see that okay so take a few and then I'll take a medium size one and that should be good. And now we should probably have them get married. So we will go ahead and do that. I also want to check the quality of these pictures to see if they turned out okay. Um, these, is, is this photographer normal? Okay, I guess it turned out okay, even though the picture's not actually showing up, but I'm sure it will show up. Okay, I just, I just want to see it's, a, it's really dark. That's fine. It'll it'll brighten up. I'll just give that to Prince Adrian. That's like his wedding present from his mother, I guess. Um, so we need to have Prince Adrian marry Lady Lindsay. So I'll go ahead and do that. I don't know if I should change her name to Princess Lindsay. I guess I would change her name because she would be the Princess of Oasis Springs. She will be the Queen soon, but not yet. So... I'll just call her Princess Lindsay of, of, um, of Oasis Springs when they get married. So Lady Lindsay is here, and then we're just waiting for Sir, or Sir, Prince, um, oh my goodness, words, um, Prince Adrian to get here, and he is here now. So I, oh my gosh, this is such a gorgeous backdrop. I love this. Okay, so we are now getting married. And this beautiful, like all the flowers in the back is just gorgeous. I love that. This is so pretty. Oh, they're so sweet. Oh. All right. Let's see. Sorry, I'm just trying to get like a good angle. It's bothering me that they're not centered, but I hope you guys don't mind. Um, so I don't think they've exchanged rings yet oh there we go there we go all righty they make it look like such a big diamond and also she doesn't give like they don't give the guys a ring which doesn't make sense to me i don't know why they don't do that um but anyway so we are married now i don't know what's wrong with prince adrian he looked upset or like he had a stomach ache for a second um so we already have a gold wedding event i feel like weddings are really easy to get a gold medal for um, but we do want to chat with our guests a little bit so why don't we chat with princess anna i will thank her for coming um, and then we also have prince edmund which is actually prince adrian and Pr and king jared's cousin too so we gotta thank him for coming so basically like the willow creek royal family and the windenburg royal family are the oasis Oasis Springs royal family's cousins. So their cousins got married to each other. So that's so interesting. I'm telling you, everybody is related in some way. 
So we are bringing in new Sims into Brindleton Bay, like Lady Malaya's family. They're brand new. They just came out of nowhere. They have no uh, family history at all. So it's interesting to bring in new Sims. Also, like, I, in case you guys haven't noticed, we're bringing in a little bit more diversity here with Brindleton Bay for royal families. Um, so I'm definitely excited to do that. I want to check up on, they were the Fang family, but now they're the Duke and Duchess of Brindleton Bay. Um, so they had a kid a while ago. We should probably make them have another kid too. Um, but we will probably do just like a little bit of updating on some families with you guys uh, in one of the next videos in case you guys are interested to learn a little bit more about their lives. Um, so we have Prince Adrian. He is going to have him chat with, uh, not Prince Alice, Queen Alice. And then I'm also going to have Queen Arya. They are not super close with their daughter-in-law, but they do like her a lot. They like, oh, it doesn't look like King Easton has actually officially met her yet. Um, so we'll just say he has. We'll pretend he has. So I think that they do like her a lot because she comes from a great family. And obviously, since they didn't like King Jared's wife, Nina, um, to them, Lady Lindsay is like an angel. So that's good that they like her so much. And I'm excited to have her be the queen of Oasis Springs. This should be very interesting. Um, we also, let's see, who else is here? I just was going to say that we also need to check up on some of the other Sims. Who is that? That can't be anyone we know. That's our musician. But they're not playing anything. I guess we don't have instruments for them to play here? I don't know. No one's, like, really dancing either. But, I mean, we've already, like, we're already at a gold medal for this event. We don't even really have to do anything. Um, I don't know why. Also, it says thank, thank fans for coming instead of thank guests for coming. Because before this, like, before the whole get famous and before I made everyone super famous, uh, it used to say thank your guests for coming, but now you have to thank your fans for coming. So I think that's a little bit strange. I don't know why they would say fans over guests at your own wedding, but whatever. Um, so it looks like late or Queen Nina is chatting it up with... I keep wanting to call her queen. I keep wanting to call the queens princesses and the princesses queens. Um, so chatting it up with Princess Cora, who is a future queen. It's so interesting to see her in a different outfit because she just like... We've been playing with their family for so long, so... We watched her grow up in, like, those purple and pink outfits with her hair down. Um, so now she has, like, this different outfit. But she's still... I think Princess Cora is my favorite. I'm gonna be honest. She is just amazing. I always talk about how gorgeous she is, but she really is. I think she's definitely my favorite. Um, I wish she was actually, like in the main family that we were playing, but I do really love King Henry and Queen Alice as well, because um, we did see them grow up, and they've been together since they were children, so that's also just really exciting that we get to um, continue to play with them and, like, with get to see their kids grow up as well. And we will always, of course, go back to the other families too, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, so I think, I don't think there's too much else to do here. It looks like Prince Adrian is, like, awkwardly dancing as everyone around him is watching. Um, so I, this kind of turned into a bit of an awkward wedding. I don't know why anyone else isn't dancing. There's also, like, a dance floor in just the other room, so they could just be dancing in there if they really wanted to. Okay, now people are cheering him on. They're not just, like, watching him, watching him. Because I thought that was a little bit strange. So I'm going to end this video here. Um, in the next episode, we will have Princess, or, oh my goodness, Queen, uh, names, Queen Alice. I almost said Queen Cora. Queen Alice, we will have her have her baby. Um, it looks like Prince Adrian and Lady Lindsay are probably going to be trying for a baby soon as well. So we have even more babies coming up. Um, and I do really want to start another series, guys. So I know I mentioned in the last video to give me some suggestions, but please really do give me some suggestions. I, um, I've been looking up challenges to do as well. I just want to do something unique and different for you guys, kind of like this series is. I don't want to just do something that, like, there's already a bunch of videos of. 
Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys think of anything and I'll definitely take it into consideration. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Yet another wedding, but at a different venue. I really love this venue, so I highly recommend uh, downloading this venue. And, of course, the link is in the description below, so definitely check it out when you get the chance. Um, I've also posted my – the Windenburg Palace is in the gallery now as well. So I will put that in the description. I'll put that link in the description too. So, yes, again, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share, and we will see you guys the next episode.